Um, so my name's John. I am with Joshua Roth Limited <coughs> now. Uh, my wife and I acquired the company last year, and um, this year has been quite a learning experience for us um, with the whole tool business, but also supporting various events with the, the Bonsai community. So what you can kind of see to my side here are some of the trees that have been purchased for the Rising Stars uh, competition. Um, it's more for fun than com competition, but at any rate, it's one of the main events here at the GSPF Rendezvous. Uh, we are supporting this because, um, A, it's super fun, right? We want to see uh, the various up-and-coming folks work on these trees and see what they can do with it. Um, but also, we wanted to support the community. So, um, as people take that next step to becoming um, either a professional or semi-professional in the hobby, we want to support those endeavors. So, um, whoever gets chosen as the winner of this competition is going to receive a scholarship um, that's going to help contribute towards their further education with the expectation that they're going to come back um, and train the rest of us and share that knowledge with us so um, it's going to help the event you know obviously it's going to be something fun and popular for people to come and observe so all day tomorrow saturday um, they're going to be styling these trees with the public present and the judge bjorn who's visiting from tennessee is not going to see who's doing what with the trees until the end of the day and he will select his favorite and then give us his feedback on how and why he made that decision so uh, we're definitely looking forward to that uh, we're gonna have a good time and um, hopefully uh, it'll also have the side benefit of raising some funds because i do believe that these are either going to be auctioned or raffled off um, at the event as well so thank you All right, here are some of the trees um, that are our workshop trees. Um, the first one you saw is Breakfast Born. And these six trees, there's six, five. Let me get some closer look them to the trees. Um, they're, they're, they're healthy, yeah, big, healthy trees. I wonder if these are Ed Clark Roan trees that kind of look like them. Um, there's Shampaku. There's that, that was five. Here's four. There's three. Here's two. Yeah, they're at Clark I can just see the plug. And then here's one. Okay, and they're really big trees. I mean, just give me an idea. They're, they're massive trees. These trees are being used for tomorrow's Rising Stars uh, competition. Uh, that's sponsored by Josh Ross. Um, that was, again, that's John and Michelle Kim. This is what they have to choose from. There are six uh, competing artists. Uh, I'm going to try to interview all six today if I can. Um, and then I'm going to get a little, MP, a little peek of how to prepare for their competition tomorrow and then what they hope to get out of it. Um, so you know, stay tuned. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mike Costello from the Bay Area. Um, here for the um, convention and competition this uh, this weekend. Looking forward to it. Very excited to compete against a lot of talented guys and looking forward to a really exciting day tomorrow. Did you train for this at all? Uh, well, I've been doing bonsai since I was about 14 years old, so coming up on uh, 30 years. So I've been doing it for a long time and study with a lot of great people and, um, you know, work on my own trees. It's not really kind of hard to necessarily practice. You're, I've been practicing for 30 years, so there's that. And, you know, until you know what the tree is, until you've had a chance to acquaint yourself with the material, it's uh, it's a little difficult to know what's what needs to be done. So um, there's some great material here, as you can see, and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting a, a good selection. Awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Louis Montesilio and I'm from San Diego, California and I'm here uh, uh, participating in a Joshua Roth uh, Rising Star competition so actually I don't have any teacher or any master I taught myself uh, honing for numerous time watching in YouTube for Bjorn and Maurice Steinberger so, so that's why I'm here learning the art of the bonsai. So here I am competing right now. So this is a big accomplishment. 
meant for you know competing. So I wish have a good time for this you know styling competition. So that's all my goal in here. Not you know winning, just only have fun. Awesome. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm Eli Iris Tree. Uh, I studied on the East Coast with Julian Adams uh, briefly, but now I'm currently apprenticed with Peter T. out in Auburn, uh, California. I'm really excited to be here. I hope tomorrow goes well. I'm gonna do the best I can and see how it goes. How did you train for this uh, competition, or did you train? I mean, uh, I apprenticed with Peter, uh, so we work on bonsai every day. So every day is a bit of training. We also, or he purchased a, a number of trees for me to do the wiring and initial styling on, so I literally have practice uh, expressly for this uh, competition tomorrow, so. Awesome, man. Good luck. Thank you so much. Great. Uh, hey, I'm Sam. Uh, I am taking part in this competition. Um, I have been doing bonsai for about uh, I want to say six, five, six years now. Um, started in about 2017. Um, I uh, have taken classes from both Jonas, Michael Hagedorn, and then I think I got kind of more formally trained uh, when I went to Ryan Neal's in 2019. I spent three months there uh, as an intern, so I'd say that's my most substantial training. Um, gosh, I love doing bonsai. I've been doing it since. I live in San Francisco. I, I, I was the president of the Bonsai Society of San Francisco for a few years. Um, and uh, as far as preparing for this competition goes, you know, I haven't done anything specific. Um, I, I guess I've been working on trees a lot, just getting getting warmed up this season. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's about it. I brought my tools and ready to have a good time. Did you see any trees? Did you look at the trees yet? I, I briefly browsed them uh, uh, when I just come to the event, but I didn't take it like a super close look. But I will say that uh, I don't usually work field grown junipers. So this actually would be kind of a bit of a new challenge for me. You know, I, I like to work a lot of Yamadori. And so typically like the deadwood's already there. Oh, yeah. I'm really creating deadwood on Yamadori, right? So I think that would be the biggest uh, challenge for me. Just it's kind a different, of like- It's a different feel when you're used to. Yeah, yeah, it's a different, cause you know, Yamadori, I like the, not touch you know these natural characteristics so much with field grown material you really have to make the characteristics yeah. so i think that's going to be the like difficult part for, for me. you for you for yeah yeah all right good luck to tomorrow actually good thank luck you tomorrow. no thank you You're looking forward to it Robert Hovind, I'm from Orange County, California. I studied under Francis Watari, Mia Mizusawa, Ted Sukamoto, and Jim Takeda for three years before moving on to John Naka. I trained with him for seven years. Um, looking at the trees, uh, one of the major challenges that I see is that the branches on some of these trees are fairly big, so we're gonna have to use some of the smaller branches and bring them down and fill those areas, pads, in the negative space. So that's gonna be our biggest challenge on these trees. Uh, are you nervous at all? Yes, very nervous and I have practiced a lot, so hopefully it shows tomorrow. Awesome, good luck! Alright, thank you Tom.